wanted due to incorrect test setups. So that was great. We kind of realized there's a need. And uh, we had already put in uh, what we call the projects management system into our Russell platform. And what the projects management system did is it helped you set up your tester before it went on site or on on site. You could set it up in multiple projects, assign test limits in the project management system. And that was great. But that was two and a half years ago. And we've seen a lot of, uh, we've sold a lot of these Russell platforms in the field and people are using it. And so we went back to see that, hey, has anything improved? Has things improved? That, and what we heard from, yeah, the project management system helped us a lot. But there was another situation. The problem was that these test limits are pretty complicated to set up. I mean, it requires a person with a good understanding of the structured cabling industry, of the cabling standards, to set up the tester. And that is usually the project manager or the lead technician. Uh, who may not always be on site. They have various other things to do. They could be in the office. They could be shuttling between sites. So anytime there was a tester that needed to be set up, they either had to go on site and set it up, or they had to call the tester back in. Right? So that was just not productive. It was, uh, uh, it was just taking away time uh, from the technicians who were just waiting for them to set things up. And if you had custom limits for fiber, that just made things worse. So when we asked, uh, we asked our uh, customers that, hey, how much of custom limits do you do for your fiber jobs? And they said that almost 40% of the jobs they do are custom fiber limit jobs. And then we again polled that, hey, how many of your techs can actually set up your tester for these custom fiber limits? And we were kind of shocked about the answer was that only 30% of the techs can actually set up testers for these fiber limits uh, for, for, for these fiber custom limits. So this just reinforces the fact that the project manager, the lead tech, has to have the instrument in hand or has to go wherever the instrument is to set this up. And that's a lot of time wasted. Basically, what we want to do, these testers are pretty expensive, right? So we want those testers in the field making money from you and avoid the scenario that you can see on the right hand side of your screen where the tech is just oops, idling, waiting for, the, for the, the project manager or the lead technician to come. By the way, I have to mention that the, my legal department says that I have to say that the worship does not actually print money, So, uh, but you get the idea. So what is Linkware Live and how does it solve this problem? So Linkware Live is basically a cloud service that helps you manage the test setups and cable IDs from any location using any browser-enabled device. As you can see, uh, we have a project manager on the left who's sitting in his car and actually setting up the tester that's in the field, uh, you know, that's shown by the technician on the right. Of course, again, we don't recommend you doing this in your car, but it was just a scenario that we wanted to say that, hey, if you wanted to do something like that it was an emergency, you could pull over and actually set it up from anywhere, as long as you had a device that had a browser and internet connectivity. It's really that simple. So what, does, what, what can you do with Linkware Live? So with Linkware Live, you can set up your, the, the projects from your browser, right? You just configure it from the browser without having the, uh, having the tester with you. The advantage of that is that one, the browser is a larger screen space. So on the tester, you have a smaller screen. You have to go through multiple menus to set it up. While it's much easier than our older testers that we used to have or some of the other testers uh, in the market, it's still not as convenient as just doing it on a browser. So you can create test setups. So these test setups have multiple, multiple options. You have to choose the cable types. You have to choose the test limit types. You have to scroll, do so much scrolling before, but now with the browser, you can just do a search. It's a dynamic search. You can just type in a few letters and it comes up with the right cable type and the right cable uh, light test limit. And basically all the options that were available on the tester are available online. You can just set it up with much more ease and a, with a lot faster. And the same thing with custom cable types. This was not easy to do before. Now it's really easy. You can just do it right there on the browser. Just select custom cable type and voila, you can just uh, put in all the parameters you need for your cable type. And the same goes for fiber limits. Remember we had said that limits was one of the top issues 
what, what that caused delays for our uh, customers, and also why the reasons why a lot of their test reports were rejected. But now you can actually define these limits, and not only define them, but you can save them in the cloud so you can reuse them. So that's really beneficial. And then you can generate cable IDs. And you can generate cable IDs right there from the browser if it's a simple sequential list. If it's a few cable IDs that are uh, not coherent but have uh, a different, different nomenclature, you can enter them one by one. Or you could just import them from a, from a Excel or a CSV file really easily. Very often, our, our contractors uh, get cable types from, uh, from, the, from the end customer or they generate it from CAD files. And you could just import it straight from here. It's really easy, really simple. And I will actually be showing you all of this later on. And then with Linkware Live, once you created the project, the project is in the cloud. It's really simple. All you got to do is just download it on in, your, in all the testers in the field at a technician. You can let a technician know, hey, there's a project ready. And he just logs in from his test and downloads the project. And instantly, now the project is available to multiple people. This is especially useful for very large projects where you want, to sh uh, you, want, you want a common project where different technicians are working from. So really, really quick and fast. And another thing it offers is it actually notifies you about issues with test results. So how does it do that and what kind of issues does it report? So it basically reports issues to you once you sync the test results back to Link Live. If anybody actually changed the test limit, Right? Not, it's not that we say it never happens, but some of our customers have told us that sometimes the tech in the field to make a test pass has you know, changed a 6A limit to a 5E and you know, somehow the test passed. But now Linkware Live will actually catch that. As soon as the test results are uploaded, it gives you a notification that, hey, you had set up this cable ID with this particular for this particular te uh, test limit, but it came in with a different test limit. What do you want me to do about it? So it saves a lot of time of going through and rechecking all of these different test results. And it does the same for cable IDs. If there was some random cable ID that uh, was entered in the field or a wrong cable ID that was entered in the field, uh, you get notified immediately and now you know what to do with them. If you think they are valid, you can easily add them to the project. And if you don't, you can just reject them or let the, uh, so that it doesn't get merged with all the different test results. All right, so what we'll do now is do a brief demo, and I will, what I will do is I will actually create a project uh, on Linkware Live and push it to the tester just to prove that all I said was not vaporware but actually already exists, and you can start using it, all right? So uh, let me start off with a web browser. So that's Linkware Live. So you basically log into Linkware Live, so let me start from the beginning so it's easier for everybody to follow. So basically all you need to do is go to linkfailive.com, then create an account, sign in. And once you sign in, you get a dashboard of all the projects, but now you want to create a new project. That's what we wanted to do. All you do is click on the Add Project. And now you can give it a project name. Let's call it Acme Networks. Uh, we'll put in a start date. The start date and end date is basically for you, for you to track how far your project is going, how much time you have left. There are some various other fields over here, like project group, which helps you group different projects. For example, if you're doing multiple projects for the same customer or on the same location, you can actually group them really nicely. And I, I'll group them and say Seattle, so I can group multiple projects uh, under this group. And of course, you can give description and project ID and other project attributes that you need, right? So this is basically just creating the name of the project. And now you can start creating test setups. It's really easy. So like what kind of test setup you're going to do? Let's, in, let's say in this project, we have uh, different kinds of test setups where we have some copper, some fiber, and even some fiber with custom limits. So we'll do three test setups. So just select, let's do the copper first. So we select a copper. The cable type, say it's an unshielded CAT6, and then you can tell your, six, your, uh, your test limits automatically selected, but you can change them really easy. And I was going to tell you about cables, like about the whole part of scrolling through different things. 
But over here, it's really easy. You can just type in the letters and you get the, the cable that you want. So example, if you wanted to build in over here, we could just type one in here and it's really that fast to get it. But in this case, let's just do the generic cable. So now basically you, you have your all your test setup parameters, it's saved. You created your test setup. So now you need to create cable IDs. So now what we can do, I'll show you the one first way of doing cable IDs is just a simple sequential list, say from A01 to A01-100 to A01-130. Hit save. And there you go. All your cable IDs are created. So that's a copper test setup. Let's go ahead and do a new copper, a new fiber test setup. So we hit new test setup. This time we select the fiber. We select the cable type to say, let's just say a generic OS2. And we want to do a loss length test and a smart ODDR. So we select those, those options. And then we hit save. Again, in cable IDs, say in this case, these were just a very small set of custom IDs that we wanted to do. So let's just call this uh, uh, floor floor one, cube three. Let's give it a name. And say we want to build an individual custom cable ID that says something like this. Right? So now you can do save. Oh. You have to add it. Yeah, I have to add it. That's right. Thank you. And hit save. So similarly, you can add several custom cable IDs. And now you have all these cable IDs over here. So now let's go to a new one. A new, uh, oh, not a new cable set, but a new test setup. So let's say I'm adding a new test setup. And this time, I'm going to do custom cables. So I'm going to do a custom cable. Just say CUS. You get a custom cable type. It's so like that. I'm going to call it say, uh, Acme's new cable, just give it some name. You can select a category that you want and define all the parameters you want for the cable. It's saved. So now this cable type is saved in the cloud. And then again, do the test you want. And of course, if you want custom limits, you can also define a custom limit here. So again, let's call it Acme's cable test limit, just giving it some name. And then you can set all these different parameters for that particular cable, for that particular test limit, and hit save. Right? And there you go. Your custom test setup for, cable, for fiber is done. So now, say this had a lot of different cable IDs, and we wanted to import it in a Excel file. We had all those IDs defined. All you do is import cable ID. Let's just uh, name this entire set as uh, floor three, just choose a file. In this case, I'm just going to select this file, say open, and import. And once you do this, you see immediately all the 159 cable IDs that were there. As you can see, they're all different, and that's why you want, uh, they're not in sequence, so that's why you want the uh, Excel file import. So it gets imported really fast, really easy. Right, so there, there you go. So all of our test setups are done, our cable IDs are done, and uh, once you go, once you go in, if you go to your dashboard, you can actually, you should be a, oh, you should be able to see this in your draft, and it's in draft because you're still setting up the project. So now you now say your project is you're done set doing all your test setups and your cable IDs, and it's ready to be downloaded in the field. All you got to do is go here, open the project, and just mark it as active. So now it's available for download. So now you can just let your technician know, oh, this is, hey, this is the, uh, the test setup. This is the project that's created. It's on the cloud. Just download it. So let's now be the technician in the field. So on my screen, now you should be able to see the, the screen of the of the tester of the DSX 5000 over here. And let's see how the project manager, how the technician in the field will actually download this project. All he has to do is first go to tools, right? He can connect to, the, he can connect to a network. He can do it either wired or 
wirelessly, and then he signs in into an account, right? So it would be Fluke. Oh, so that's the password. Just type it in. He signs in, right? And once he signed in, all he has to do is go to project, say transfer some projects. I want to transfer from Linkfa Live, and now. He gets a list of all the projects on top that are on this tester. And then when he goes down, he can actually see a thing that says available only on LinkFell Live. What that means is that these are projects that were created in the cloud but not yet in the tester. All he has to do is select the particular project that needs to be downloaded, sync, and there you go. It's syncing right now and it's being downloaded and it's done. So that quickly, now if he goes to the screen, he can just really easy change that project or change and select Acme Networks. That's what we, we have done. And so you see all of our test setups are now in there, the different set of test setups we had with all the different cable IDs, and everything is set up right over there. And he can just go ahead and start testing. It's really, really that simple. And it's available right now, so you can start using it. Only one, uh, one, thing that, one other thing about a demo I wanted to put out is when you create your account, to create projects, what you need to do is assign yourself a professional license. And the reason is because a professional license gives you the ability to create projects, but also gives you the ability to delete test results. We don't want everybody to have the ability to delete and modify the project. So that's why you just go to Users, of course, in users, you can add all of your text and everybody else in your organization. You click on the person that you want to be able to create projects. Just say edit and assign the link to a live professional license and hit save. And once you have a professional license, that is, it gives you the ability to create edit projects. So that's all the live demo. And as you saw, it took us, what, less than five minutes to do all of that? So really easy. So let's just get back to our presentation for a sec. Right, so we completed the demo. So the next question that's typically asked is, what do I have to pay to use Linkfair Live? And the answer is, there are no costs. You don't have to pay anything. And yes, this is a Fluke Networks presentation, right? So you usually don't see that from Fluke Networks. But yeah, Linkfell Live is free. And as long as you own a DSX 5000, you can go ahead, go to Linkfell Live and start using it. There's really nothing stopping you from using it, right? And what pro the next question is, what products is it compatible with, right? So it, it works with our entire worst of line. So that's DSX 5000, OptiFiber Pro, Certifiber Pro, and FI 7000. So this line was introduced around two and a half years ago. So we have a significant amount of testers that are there in the market. Uh, another common question that we get is, so we've been around for a while, we've been making testers for a while, and another, and people generally ask is, would it work with my older DTX? The answer is, unfortunately, it won't work with your DTX. The DTX was introduced in 2004, and at that time, there was really no cap the capabilities that DSX has were really not there, and we can't add anything to D DTX right now. So it does not work with Link uh, with uh, with the DTX. But that being said, we do have a great offer that's currently going on where you can upgrade your DTX to a Versive, right, and actually get up to six thousand six thousand two hundred fifty dollars back when you do that. So it's a really great deal, so please take advantage of that. And basically what you have to do right now is go to linkhealthlive.com, create an account, assign yourself a professional license, and you're ready to, ready to you know, save time and increase your productivity by creating all your test setups remotely. And actually that's all I have to, uh, for today's presentation. So please, uh, I'm open for any questions. All right, yeah, so if you have any questions, go ahead and send them in, either through the Q&A or chat window. We'll, uh, we'll monitor both and make sure we get your questions one way or the other. There's one question, actually, this is just from me that I had. When you had the, uh, the, the uh, Linkware Live, uh, you were showing the Linkware Live on your screen, I noticed that there's this little smiley face on the right hand oh. side of the screen. What the heck is that all about? So this little smiley face. Exactly. So that smiley face is basically feedback. We want our customers to provide us feedback. Ah, okay. 
And so when you click on that, we actually have customers who have given us feedback, like uh, they've asked us questions on it, where we get back to them. They've even asked us questions uh, about how do I import cable IDs. They can talk about new ideas like blueprints and work order support. There are all sorts of things that question asks, and this is how we get ideas. In fact, the importing cable ID was asked through this mechanism, and they asked us about it. Our engineering team was pretty prompt, and they have added in that capability really quickly. So this is a great way to give, to, for giving us feedback, and we'll take all the feedback we get. Okay, good, good. Well, thank you very much for that one. Um, one question that I've, uh, I've also heard, too, is that, um, so is there, you know, which platforms does this, you know, LinkBar Live support? I mean, like iOS and Android and whatever? Yeah, so that's a great question. So uh, since LinkBar Live is browser-based, you really don't have to worry about platforms. It's as long as you have a device with a browser, it just works. And the advantage of this is you don't have to worry about updating your apps. We send out product updates for LinkWare Live almost every three weeks. And since it's browser-based, you don't have to worry about up upgrading your app. It's always there. It's always ready. Just go to linkwarelive.com on, on your mobile device, iOS, Apple, Windows, whatever it may be, and it's up and ready for you to use. All right. And, you know, one other question is that, uh, you know, how many, how many people are using this right now? I mean, I know we don't want to release an exact number, but... Yeah, but we have uh, greater than 5,000 users that have, uh, and customers that have actually signed up today and are using LinkMail Live to not only set up the testers, what I showed you today, but also to transfer test results really easily, which would be a topic for another webinar. I think we're closing in on almost a million results. That's right. We're upload. closing in pretty close to that particular result. So, we're live. so, yeah. uh, so it is, it's definitely becoming a very popular way to do things. Um, you know, one thing we've also heard from customers, it does require that maybe you change the way you, uh, you do business a little bit. And we've actually created some documentation about how to help you Correct. Who, who needs to be trained, how much they need to be trained. It's not a work really to get there, but it is it is a little bit different than just throwing the testers in the truck and driving and them back to the, the yes. office to set them up. That is and right. All the results. Yeah, that is right. As they say, right, to gain something, sometimes you have to change something, yeah. right? So uh, there is a little bit of change required. So you would there would be some training required for your project managers and for your uh, technicians. And all that training is available at linkwarelive.com in the help section. And uh, so one way to get, uh, get all of that is just go to help, and there's a lot of topics over there. Or you can just go to linkwarelive, uh, uh, you can go to the website, uh, the Fluke Network's website, slash linkwarelive, and there is a lot of support material available there too. Okay, good. Well, I think that's about it for the questions. I think we've covered everything very well. I, I must admit, that's the first time I've seen someone go through the entire process of setting up a uh, job and downloading it. And I, I must say that was pretty fast. It was. It was maybe about, what, six, seven minutes? That's